Hey everyone, this is Asphalt328, and today we are going to do something a little bit different. Stolen Kerbal Space Program. I'm going to get a Minecraft video up to you guys pretty soon. Trust me. But first, we're going to talk about a little bit of aviation history. Not with the Abacos, but... Anyway, it's around World War One and during. They tested with different wing designs to see... Um, if they can basically improve upon what the right builders had. One of those? The triplane. I have made a space age version of one. I called it the Triglider 2. You'll see why in a little bit. So, yeah, I'll see you guys real quick. Alright, we are here with Nova as our pilot. Basically, you know, this is my design for triplane. For tri yeah, triplane. <laughs> Trying to think. Name. And as you can see, I got a bunch of debris around here. Part of it is from attempts at basically improving upon this design and I don't know I'm sure. one neat little feature is it thing is this thing goes so fast is kinda need this I have those um have those uh, uh, hotkey Off right around. Yep, there we go. Whoop! Whoop. It's a little bit nimble. If I'm using that word right. Basically, it's. It is, um. Very. Maneuverable. That's, that's a problem. Yeah. I have it on, um. Find that control. So yeah, it's it, it, I mean, it's not what you would think of the triplane before. You know, the elevators up front, you got the rudders, you got the, the tail on the wings. But it works. I've flown it to the other continent and had more fuel um, left over, but yeah. And it's air hogging. Woo. Look at that. Look at that. Um, if I came up with another name for it, I'd probably call it the Red Baron. It's because of the fact that the triplane and the Red Baron had a triplane. Um, what was it? It's a Fokker. I don't remember that. I don't know, I had to go look back. But, yeah, it's using, um, swept wing and normal wing, as well as, um, yeah, swept normal and the aileron attachments, which, in one case, is the elevator. Yeah, no, we don't want to crash yet. Um, it's got... Delta wings up in front, and it's got normal struts as well as quantum struts, so it's pretty good. And it's got landing gears, guys. It's got landing gears, so yeah. It basically it's fine up until 600 meters per second, where you'll start to lose control. You'll basically just put it in a roll. And you 
we'll see if we can take a battle. Um, as for landing, you, you can basically go as slow as um, 10 meters per second and still be airborne. You can also airborne too with the um, first rockets. Level up. And I have two SAS on here for some reason, I don't know why it's that. But if you watch here, well up all the way, you'll go a little bit faster. Watch, watch right here. Crashing is more fun. Into the VA building! Come on, go tighter! Go tighter! 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 There we go. Nope, stay down. You want to crash. Woo! Incoming! Incoming, bitches! Warp! Be it upside down. Yes, let's go back to the space plane here. And I'll show you Tri Collider 3. You want to see Tri Collider 4, trust me. It's a mess. Boom. Tri Collider 3. It carries two bombs, although it could probably carry a lot more. And two. Well, I thought we were going to be guns and end up being air-to-ground missiles. Yeah. And... Yeah, I gotta go show you how this works. See my frames per second actually go up and down according to how many parts I have. So yeah, it's again it's got the same arrow breaking, but now we got the weapons. So we're gonna get up and we're gonna hopefully bomb space center. You know because you know that's how real world space agencies test weapons. They bomb their own buildings. So, yeah, that's the only. Backside, downside to doing that is you, you have to. Um, yeah, it sounds like a wings and it sounds like a wheels and dips. But because the bombs and the missiles have wings, we get up into your life. Okay, slow down. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna bomb them. Um, what should we bomb them? Let's go bomb. Let's go bomb the VA building again. Woo! I'm not flying with the joystick, I'm flying with the keyboard. And backflip, because you totally want to bomb with the bomb backflip. Um, nope, 
we gotta do another pass over. No, no, don't want that. Okay. Let's basically flip back over. Speed, speed. Still flying towards the ground, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Don't bomb at high altitudes. There we go. Okay, we missed the V. Oh, wait. There's the carnage left from one of our planes. Let's go. Let's go use the missiles on that. Oh, we're probably gonna miss. <laughs> when in doubt, miss. Are we gonna come in low? And you'll see why they turn out to be air to ground missiles. And fire. Wait, give me Oh, so Oh well. When in doubt, aim for it yourself. No, we missed. No! What? <laughs> oh, we got away with it. No, oh, we're making it. Why are we making it so hard? Still got parts flying everywhere. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, there's gonna be a challenge with this one, and I will get back to you as soon as I get out of this Kerbal Space Program. So yeah, yeah, and I'm back. I actually did a little refine of my design. Of course, I'm not gonna show you it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a little bit cheating. Okay, so the rules and the story will be with the assistance of the friendly Sanchino, we will be looking them. The rules starts with, you must have a biplane or a triplane, it will not matter which, uh, which one you did, um, it's not going to be any higher. Must contain at least one Kerbal, if it doesn't, it does not count. Must obviously fly, must have one engine only, you will lose. 20 points for each engine you do have other than that one. And the only exception is if you're using it for braking or weapons. And it must contain at the most 20 parts or 10 stages, whichever comes first. Now for scoring, it's broken down into different parts, starting with takeoff speed, maneuverability, engine type, weapons, Bonus points. Starting off with takeoff speed, you will get 30 points if you take off at less than 30 meters per second. For 20 points, it's 30 meters per second to 60 meters per second. 10 points is 61 meters per second to 85 meters per second. And 5 points is 86 meters per second or above. For maneuverability, it's 10 point maneuverability, 30 points. Tight maneuverability, 20 points. Normal maneuverability, 10 points. 
loose maneuverability, 5 points. No maneuverability, 0 points. I can find it pretty hard if you don't have maneuverability. <coughs> Excuse my allergies. Engine types. Ion engine, 40 points. Or ion engine. Efficient rocket engine, 30 points. Inefficient rocket engine, 20 points. Efficient jet engine, 10 points. Inefficient jet engine, 5 points. Now for the weapons, they are scored based on what you have and the amount of each one of those you have. It is optional, by the way. Air to air missiles is 30 points. Air to ground missiles is 10 points. Guided bombs, meaning they have wings, 15 points. Unguided bombs is 10 points. And lasers is 5 points. <coughs> oh, God. Sorry. For the bonus points, for each Kerbal you have besides the one that is required, you will get 10 points, and this goes up to 5 times. If you hit a selected target, such as the vehicle assembly building or the space plane here, it counts as 10 points per hit. But it does that count if you hit, let's say, debris that you left over? Left laying around, or something on the pad or runway. If you by chance get Jebediah Kerman as your pilot, as the one required, and it's not edited in, that's 30. No, excuse me, 25 points. Accidentally counting the Kraken is 30 points. And if you are a very skilled pilot, you get 50 points for landing on water and remaining intact. Now, with the scores of mine, my first design I showed you got yeah, 10 points for, for takeoff speed, 20 points for engine type, no wait, 20 points for maneuverability, and 20 points for engine type for a total of 50 points. My um, second design comes up to 20 points for takeoff speed, 20 points for maneuverability, 10 points for engine type, and 20 points times 2 for air to ground missiles, 15 times 2 for guided bombs for a total of 120 points. Now, I purposely made my scores low, but I'm just showing you that it is possible. I will post a link to the challenge in the forum in the description below, as well as the link to Kerbal's Space Program's main site, my forum page, and am I missing anything? I think so, too. Am I missing anything? No? Okay, good. Alright, so, it's been a fucking great week. I'll see you next.